Okay, this is the second video of the same uh, GOLUG meeting uh, for July 3rd, 2019, and we'll go ahead and start it. I'm going to turn back on the sound. Where real estate brokers pool their listings, and then every broker in the city has that property available to sell to as a sub agent, and then they split the commission. So that's what this is is that Coach Mitch's website by itself is like a for sale by owner in real estate. They have the traffic from one site to sell. And any buyer coming in to buy advertising from Coach Mitch has all the leverage in the world because Coach has one website to sell and the buyer has thousands to look at. So when they come in and negotiate, all the cards are in the buyer's hands and Coach isn't going to get enough. And where in this case, when they sign up to advertise and Coach Mitch's site, they're advertised on 500,000 other websites and this is the tack this is the level of attack he is for Coach Mitch's is that you've got a directory that is completely um, populated with links and categories. That's not sleazy. You can pick subcategories, okay? So um, pick for by regions, you can that's and to create this on your own with links and the management and everything else, I've seen web directories software advertised for thousands of dollars, okay? So I can't see how adding a feature to your website is it's a detriment. But if a web person with a website just wants to continue giving away their content, that's fine. We don't have to. We don't have to twist their arm into adding a web directory to their website. They can keep going down. They can do pay per click at the same time. So, okay. So, um, well, these are possible. Okay, opportunity. Some websites. There's a lot of them that don't even understand AdSense, right? Or or banner ads, and then incentives. We're going to see in the market share how much the um, Google we saw in, in that in that sheet how much Google has a market share and when they pay you per click it's a crump they're getting they're getting a, a lot of revenue from it and um, you get a one payment per click so what what our solution is one member ownership. Network marketing compensation, so you're getting paid beyond the click, just a one-time thing. You're getting paid to grow the company, and we're bringing in Bitcoin Network as part of it. It's an ad network. Social networks, that's how you can feed your own um, marketing, and the WordPress um, network is a big part of it. So. We're proposing to use cooperation and use their web, wasted web traffic as venture capital. That's the big thing. There's such an, a huge amount of web traffic that's going to waste, and borrowing money is expensive. So if we get people to invest their web traffic in exchange for ownership, then uh, that's a big part of our business model. Now, this this one in green. Is probably the key fundamental to understand. Every customer that we bring in to buy advertising is also a manufacturer of the product itself. Every customer that comes in and buys web traffic for their, because they want web visitors to come to their website has identified themselves as an owner of a website. So if we can get them to also install the script and start selling for us as a sub-agent, okay, we keep getting more and more product to sell, and it's just a bigger and bigger thing. So this is how easy it is to, to make the sale. We offer free advertising. 
that's that's it. That's that's how easy this becomes for any single website or or agent. Would you like to offer? Would you like to get some free advertising? Then we, because of the competitive nature within a particular category, we encourage them to bid. We don't force them to bid. We encourage them to bid. And or we encourage them to install the script. And that's free. So either way, if they bid or if they install the script, whoever got them to sign up for free advertising might start making some money from that little thing. So here's our team. What do you mean by bid? Okay. Got that. What, what do you mean by bid? Get the encouraged to bid. Okay. What do so you mean? Remember in the web directory there were pages and there's 20 links for advertisements displayed per page. So when somebody says I want to advertise in this network on 500,000 websites, we initially offer them free uh, and they sign up. Okay. And whatever category and, um, they're in, they're added to the very end the of the display. There so if there's the, um, two pages, they're on page, on the page two. Uh, if there's 20 there's pages, no they're at the end of page 20. You know about Make that. Pay to jump the line. You got it. There, and okay. they, they, can, can the, um, they can pay a minimum, and they get ahead of all the free, but then somebody can bid one and a half times more than them, and they leapfrog them. So in expensive categories, they, the lawyers are competing against lawyers, the realtors are competing against realtors. And they can they don't lose their position if they're out big, they just push down a bit. It's kind of like weak fraud. Okay, so what, what, what we're creating is an advocacy to get the market to pay through the nose at wholesale prices for the benefit of the content producer. Okay. So here's our team. Mitch is the one that built the Coach Ask Coach Mitch website. He's a um, good friend. Um, works with students, um, athletes, and recruits for colleges and and um, pro football. Um, Peter Krug, that's not his actual picture. Um, he's 20 years in the pharmaceutical industry. Carol Gans, um, you know her, Steve, uh, WordPress expert. So that's basically the team here. Okay, so here's. This was off topic, but do you happen to know if Mitch Sirota has a brother named Arnie? Uh, or is he from Chicago? He's, I think, from Ohio originally. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So, um, I had a, I had a question about this uh, this graph here. The what? So I was thinking that I was I had a question about this. For some reason, I was thinking that Facebook would be on this chart. No, because they're not an ad network. But but Facebook comes up in the next slide. Okay. I'm just curious. Okay. So, so here's something to me really exciting, our, our potential here. Amazon is the number two ad network. They're only on 1% of the websites. And um, because it's a WordPress plugin and WordPress is running 34% of the websites, we can enable them in five minutes to start earning Bitcoin. I can see us getting on more than 1% of the websites in a heartbeat, and then we would have bragging rights of being the number two ad network in no time at all. And the other part is we, we would be the only cooperative ad network owned by the content producers. So that gives us a monopoly in the ad network space but being the only member-owned cooperative. So important things there. Okay, so here's the market size. Here's Facebook. Whoop. Okay, Google makes $116 billion a year from Google AdSense. 
That's a, this is what I've come up with, okay? $116 billion a year. The SEO industry, do I need to explain SEO, search engine optimization, where, where website operators are paying private individuals to try to get to be on Google's first results page, are paying another $80 billion to, to, for a related result, okay? And then Facebook, their revenue is another $55 billion. Basically, I think they're selling banner ads. It all comes up to $252 billion a year that, pick, that one either are trying to appease Google to get their content in front of people's eyeballs, um, or Facebook, who is exploiting user-generated content to make that kind of money. So that's, to me, how much potential income can be returned to the content producers. They're the ones that are entitled to that money, in my opinion. So there's, I'm going to go through this one real quick. It's pay-per-click, quick fraud. Um, they pay a 60% one-time commission. Hours pays perpetual commission. Um, okay, SEO, to me, I have problems with it because SEO companies can't all be on the first page. Um, pay per action, that's like commission junction, that's similar to pay per click. And banner ads, that's like Facebook's method, I believe. Um, okay, so. Okay, so. You know, here, I have a side question here, sorry to interrupt you. So, if, okay. if you were to sign up and someone were to bid to have their content put on these sites, these 500,000 sites that we've pulled together, correct? So like an advertiser would try to bid, so an advertiser is looking to come in and bid for the right to put their ad on this database of signed up websites, right? No, no. Is that no. Right? let me go back to uh, okay. So I'm trying, to, I'm trying to follow like the money and what people are signing up for and what they're getting. Because I'm thinking like, right. I know Facebook recently, they blocked, because my question was about can you block certain content from coming into your site? So Facebook blocked all cryptocurrency ads one year prior to the announcement of their Libra coin. Yeah. Okay. So you have, do you have a website yourself? Yeah, that's what we're building right now, and we should be having launched okay. here soon. Okay, so so you could install this web directory either with a WordPress plugin or a PHP script in five minutes, okay? And it comes completely populated with the categories, the links, the, the current advertisers, right? And instantly in five minutes. So basically you would have this on your website on a page that you designated and with it, as much promotion as you would want. You're motivated, you're incentivized to do that by wanting to get people to add their URL. If nobody ever signs up for advertising, you never make any money by doing it. But if they do, Okay, so they advertise on my site. And watch, watch, what, what is it? Okay, thank you for wanting to add your link to our website and directory. Up until this point, it was completely branded to your website only. And now it gets into its funny that ours is one of a network of many on individually owned and operated websites that cooperate together to ad advertise each other's websites. And now your website will be advertised on our own site and the entire network as well. It is a better way for us to help even more people find your website than just what our just our own website could provide by itself. We will be providing more info about this great web directory so you can become part of this bigger effort to make your website successful. Now does that, does that kind of expand and open up? The yeah. Yeah. So that's just one small paragraph, and, and now. 
all of this stuff is edible too, and hopefully international. Um, we can do this. This is made to be around the globe, so it's going to be multilingual and that. So good. Okay. So this this gets to be like drinking from a fire hose. What the, the potential for this could be? Fundamentally, I think what this what we're doing is a small business development company. We're, we're teaching small businesses how to advertise, how to figure out return on investment of their advertising, how to crowdsource, how to do ad networks. We're giving them um, incentive by owning the cooperative, and the cooperative ownership model is really pretty big, but it's more big, it's bigger in agriculture, but like, for instance, this Visa is a bank-owned cooperative, incredibly, with the point and everything that we're doing, but Visa is a cooperative um, of banks. Okay, now, fundamentally, what we do is we aggregate web traffic from a lot of small websites, so we create a, a product when there wasn't one, we recycle web traffic to try to increase the return on investment. And, and what, what I'm talking about here is every small business out there spends money to get people to their website. And right now, whatever product they're trying to sell, they get an opportunity to sell it. And if they don't make a sale, then that, well, this becomes an extra product that they might be able to sell them set of their own or in addition to their own and so when we enable each site that becomes a member as an agent to sell a product, we're actually providing them an e-commerce product line. Think of a barber, they're cutting hair, but now they could be cutting the hair of a local banker and saying, hey, would you like to buy some advertising in this network while they're cutting hair? So it's an e-commerce product line that they didn't have or were able to sell before. Same thing with a mechanic, um, you know, lawn guy, everybody. Okay, so it's an open business model because of the multi-level commissions. You want your downline to be equipped, trained, and everything, and incentivized. Um, you're incentivized to provide training and, and share the, the business model. Okay, the product is manufactured by the members itself. There is no other, it's hard to find any sales product that is sold, that's manufactured by the members. Um, the software is mostly open source. Um, that's more complicated to explain. Uh, it's cryptocurrency. We, we uh, hope to um, build on the triple entry accounting to make it the most open system to all the members so that you know, there's, there's perfect accountability. It uses smart contracts and, and the, the, it's not a corporation. We're organizing it as a business trust, which is a whole another way of protecting the content producers because the trust has um, fiduciary responsibility to the members, not to the shareholders. So, okay. Now, it's a cryptocurrency only. There's no dollars in it at all. And I got this from a, 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 another website, but it's whenever you bring dollars into things, uh, it's like a high value move, and this brings up a bunch of legal issues income tax, sales tax, commercial regulation, zoning, employment law, entity choice, and tax exemption. Regulations on currencies and financial transactions, which we're doing, we're doing crypto to minimize all that stuff. Use cases. Now, when, when people understand this and they're coming at it, well, how am I going to sell this? Each of these, you mentioned your, your, your parents were in newspapers. They're one of our use cases, but they would, this would be a different marketing pitch to a newspaper than it would be to a blogger. But here's one, here's how I would approach a newspaper. They have the same problem as Steve's website. 
They have the web traffic from their website and their website only, and advertising it. Okay, so this was the second part of this um, GOLUG meeting that occurred on July 3rd, 2019. This is an online meeting. Um, I use Jitsi as the uh, server uh, for starting and, and creating the virtual or the uh, video conference. So we're already at 20 minutes. Stand by. I'm going to start another video for the same meeting and we'll continue. Give me a moment.